man. I didn't think I was going to find a film this year that was going to be my number one, but this film is really close. What is up, you guys? It's Violet Taylor here, and welcome back to Let's Catch a Vibe. Now, I hope everyone's feeling great, feeling amazing, feeling vibey. As you guys can see, this is my review on Woman King, and I've got to start off by saying this film is a 10 out of 10, straight up. No messing about, straight up. So, pretty much, um, I went to go and see this um, a couple of days ago, um, and basically... Um, there was like three people in the cinema. Um, I don't know whether they left or something happened. Um, but they left and it was only me in the cinema. And when I say I was in the cinema chair, I went to go and see it in 4DX, by the way. Um, but man, this film blew me away. Absolutely blew me away. Now, there's not really much spoilers in the film. You'll have to go and see it. That's the one thing I'm going to say to you. Please go and support this film. Even if you're not black, just please support this film. Obviously, if you're black, you got to support this film. Like, yeah, I mean... But man, what a film. But anyway, let's start off by saying, I've got to do some shout outs first. So, the director, shout out to you. You absolutely smashed it. The culture, the vibes, you absolutely smashed it. Starting off with the actors now that I have to point out. Viola Davis, she plays the leader of the, what I've named, the Dura Milaje. She plays Naniska. Um, you've got Lash, Lahash, again, sorry for that, but if I butcher the pronunciation. You've got Lahashna Lynch, who plays Izogi. I've literally just finished watching her on Graham Norton. Really, really cool. Didn't know that her first part in any kind of TV was in a double bill, um, of in a, in a two part of the bill. If you guys remember that in the UK, really, really cool TV series. Um, you've got John Boyega that plays King um, Gezu. Again, John Boyega smashed it, not even going to lie. you got Sheila Atim who plays Emenza. Absolutely badass, absolutely badass. So, bit of a brief um, overview of the film. This is set in the uh, 1800s in Africa. Um, the city is called Diomi. Um, pretty much during the slave trade, probably the peak of the slave trade. Um, you've got the new king, King um, Gezu, who pretty much has been sworn in. Um, bit of a family history with his brother um, kidnapped, or his brother sold his mother, so he's trying to find her. But yeah, overall, absolutely amazing. Set piece, absolutely amazing. Acting, absolutely amazing. Smashed it. Pace, absolutely smashed it. I was not bored. Like I was literally, I was on the edge of my seat watching this film. I was doing the chants when they were doing the chants. All I could hear was Wakandan music in my ears, like, man, if you liked Black Panther, I can't remember the name, I know, I'm, I'm not, I remember the name of the city, but I can't remember the name of the actual group, but I'm just going to call them the, the real life Dura Milaje, which I have been calling them, because man, the only thing these women haven't got, and that is not badassery, the only women these haven't got is Vibranium, these women absolutely crushed it in their roles, absolutely smashed it, absolutely smashed it, 10 out of 10, Go and watch the film. So, pretty much this starts off with, um, again, this isn't really spoiler review. This is just me giving you like a brief five minute rundown. But yeah, overall, obviously peak of the slave trade. Um, we obviously have the Dura Malaje doing their thing. Um, going around, um, going after other tribes basically because they have turned against, obviously, um, Africa. And they've started selling um slaves to you know the portuguese the white man basically um so yeah the whole of this film is pretty much about them changing that and stop selling their own slaves and stop selling their own people and protecting their people but yeah overall this film had good action like i said good action pacing acting the the pretty much the lens work i want to say i think that's goes into cinematography um, obviously it was shot for IMAX because it has to be shot for IMAX. It's such a gripping story. Now it does say based on real life, um, based on real life kind of thing. So obviously, you know, most of it is probably real life. Um, but again, you guys have to do your own research and stuff like that. But man, this film was good. This film was good. Like this, I don't know. This, this, this is like up there with Black Panther, the first Black Panther for me. And if you guys know me, that is my, that's my favourite MCU film of all time. Black Panther is like my all-time favourite film of all time. All time in the MCU. Anyway, pretty much, um, ah, uh, see, ah, uh, see, my film of the year is obviously the Batman kind of thing. Bullet Train was amazing for action. So, superhero movies on the DC side. Um, Batman, amazing. Black Adam's probably going to be my second. 
Uh, Marvel, obviously Black Panther 2 um, for the Marvel films. Action, Bullet Train this year was an amazing film for action for me. Um, this for like historic, some real life. Obviously horror is probably going to be between Smile and um, mind you, The Barbarian was, wasn't bad. Um, yeah, it's probably going to be between um, Halloween and um, Smile. We've also got um, Avatar, which is going to be good for fantasy, even though we had kind of Lord of the Rings or the Rings of Power this this year but yeah guys go and watch this film i can't really give you any spoilers because i mean there is one kind of plot twist in there but it's it's amazing it's amazing viola davis shout out to you you're an absolute queen you smashed it as amanda waller you smashed it as this character in this film absolute props i cannot give you enough props but yeah pretty much that is my rundown of the film pretty much absolutely amazing 10 out of 10 absolutely loved it couldn't find a thing wrong with this movie anyway hope you guys enjoyed this video if you guys did enjoy this video for whatever explanation i gave you i hope you liked this video if you didn't enjoy the video let me know in the comments down below why you didn't like the video also let me know which was your favorite um jordan malaje or whatever they're called i forgot what they're called i think they're called old Oh, old you or old you? I think it begins with an O anyway. But yeah, um, if you're new to the channel, don't forget to subscribe to the channel if you're new and join Team Let's Catch a Vibe. Also, if you are new, please don't forget to switch on the bell notifications to get notified as soon as we upload. But more importantly, don't forget to stay vibey and I'll catch you all in the vibes. Peace.